Hey guys, I'm back with another GoPro tips and tricks video. In this video, I'm going to explain a little bit about the resolution you actually need when you shoot a time lapse on your GoPro camera. With the new GoPro Hero 3, we got 12 megapixel resolution for photos. This is really cool for taking still photos that maybe you want to upload to Facebook or use as a background on your desktop. You really have the resolution capable of doing that. However, this leads to a bit of a drawback if you just want to use your GoPro to shoot time lapses. Because what happens is you end up with these massive file sizes. If you want to shoot 5,000 photos for a time lapse, you're going to almost fill a 32 gigabyte card. So it's really important that you scale back your resolution when you're going to shoot time lapses. There's no need to shoot a four or like a 12 megapixel photo just to shoot or just to make it into a time lapse. You're way better off to change your resolution down to, I think, well, we can look at it. We'll change it here. The options we have for photo resolution in the Hero 3 are 5 megapixels medium, which if you want to shoot in a medium, a medium angle, I would recommend you shoot at 5 megapixels if you're shooting a time lapse, or if you really want that full 180 degree field of view, set it to 7. So set it to 7 megapixels wide if you really want the wide field of view for your time lapse. This will severely cut down on your file sizes, making it possible to shoot longer time lapses as well as taking up less storage space on your computer. There's really no point shooting 12 megapixels, 12 megapixels photos for your time lapse if all you're going to do is download them onto the computer, make them into a video, and then uh, make them into a time lapse video, and then what are you going to do with the leftover files? You're either going to delete them, or maybe you don't want to delete them because you want to keep them, and then you're just going to be storing a massive amount of data on your computer that you really don't have any point doing, or point storing. Uh, one thing is, if you have changed or scaled your resolution down for your time lapse photos, make sure that if you're going back and you want to use your GoPro just as an everyday camera again, or just to shoot pictures, you change it back to 12 megapixels because there is no point shooting still photos at a lower resolution than your camera's capable of. Thank you guys for watching. This was a GoPro tips and tricks video talking about the image quality that's needed for a time lapse. Um, time lapse movie. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you check out my channel for lots more videos and subscribe. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching.